add point. We can add a point to a floor or a roof and we can do that for drainage and have it all taper down. In the old days we'd put a, a floor drain in the middle of our garage and have all the water f go to the center of the garage. Now they frown on that these days because the oils go down into the uh, rivers and streams and lakes. Uh, but we do do that in commercial roofs where we have the water go to a center spot and then it goes down to a pipe and goes away from the building. So to do that, we're going to add a point. But before I do that, I'm going to go over to architecture. I'm going to put a model line in. Model line, I'm just going to sketch a line right now. So I'm just sketching at this point. I'm going to hit enter. And I'm going to escape. I'm going to go back up to architecture. I'm going to go to model line. And I'm going to grab onto these endpoints. Okay, and hit enter. I'll hit escape. Now what I want to do is I'm going to select this floor. I'm going to window in on it. I'm going to filter. And you can see I don't want the lines. I don't want the walls. I'll just keep the floor. I'll say OK. Now I get my shape editing uh, panel will show up. I'm going to go up to add a point. I'm going to add a point. Now I can add a point in so that we can drain towards the middle and it says alright pick a point to add. I can pick one or multiple points I'm going to actually pick right on this midpoint here so it finds the object snap finds it and I put a point right there. Now I have it set to relative. Relative means you know relative, relative to this particular elevation uh, at at this particular point. I also get this elevation box. So, you know, I have a 12 inch floor here. I'm going to put it very dramatic, you know, so that we can see this type of thing a little bit. Um, I'll put six inches in there. All right. And then I'll hit enter. And uh, I'll hit escape. And now, when I come out of it, I have my model lines in there. But I've now tapered this floor to be going down to this spot right here. And, uh, and you know, we can actually go into our 3D uh, mode and we can go and look at just the floor if we want. And uh, I select the floor here, right? Oop, I got the basic wall there. Um, see, I got the floor. And what I can do is I can come over here and I can pick on this button and I can say isolate the element. Now I'm just looking at just this particular floor right here and I can now spin this thing around and you can if you go in there and zoom on this thing enough you can see where I have the taper into that one point. And I could have done it with a lot more taper so you can see it better, um, but I did drop it down so that it's going to this point right here. All right, if you remember, we want to come back uh, to the temporary. You want to reset the hide and put everything back to the way it was. So we can add one point to a, uh, a roof or to a floor, structural floor, and then that will allow us then to have some drainage going to that particular point. So we're essentially busting it up uh, into basically into subdivisions and it would look something like this. It would be four different subdivisions. I could erase these model lines. Now I just put those in there to find the midpoint right there. So I could erase these model lines at this point. So adding a point to provide a drainage type situation to a structural floor, a fl uh, architectural floor, or a roof.